Hello, patrons. I want to design a character. Nathan wants to design a character. Jacob, and so teach me. What What can we do but oblige him? What can we do? He's been yelling and crying all morning about this. I am I'm emotional. He's emotional thinking about the characters he could be designing, but is not. I, I, in my heart, there are so many characters looking to get out, but I don't know how to release them into this world. Every night in my dreams, I see them. I feel them. The characters. <laughs> the characters. And it's not just Eric Cartman. It's not just Eric Cartman. Did, did everyone see the new Deep Blue Ink? It's just for it's just for patrons. Oh, so so, so many people probably have not. But spoilers. But hey, if you're a patron of us, maybe you're a patron of 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 him also. You could be. It's possible. If you like supporting artists on the internet, is that what you like doing, you little freak? You you freaks. You nasty you, little freaks. You, you like supporting <laughs> artists on the <laughs> internet? Know? Ooh, yeah, you like that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh thank you very much for your support <laughs> you, by the you way you like helping artists earn a living that thank is you. so that is so you that's so you watching live watching live yeah the ones watching live here you're you're the big ones you're the big ones you're the real ones you're the you're real, real dogs ones. as i say the real dogs bark, out bark, there bark. Welcome to the dog house. Welcome to dog town. I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> I'm trying the normal one. I'm Just trying a normal my best. One today. I'm yeah. not, I'm not normal today, but I am here. We're all here and I'm ready to learn. And you, I hope are ready to teach. I'm so ready to teach. I think this is going to be a fun one. It's one of my favorite things to do is design yeah. characters. It's one of yeah. the, the most exciting parts of art making, I think. Hell yeah. And um, we're, we're going to keep it, you know, pretty organic, this process. Mm. Uh, and we'll go through it sort of the way I would go through it. No chemicals. No chemicals in this one. No pesticides. Mm -mm. Uh, in the past, I would spray myself down with pesticides before I started designing a character. Yeah, because you would just, you'd start designing a character and just get covered in bugs. Yeah, because of all the bugs. <laughs> Cause, cause but I realized that the bugs are like a part of the process. They're like it's a, part of it. You yeah. got to get the bugs that eat the other bugs. Because if you kill all the bugs, you're killing yourself. That's so true. Yeah. I'm glad you said it. Um, well, let's... I'm really glad for most of the things I've said already on the stream. Yeah, and I think we're going to say even more good things. I think I think this is going to be an only good things saying stream. I think so, too. <laughs> Sound off if you agree in the chat. Oh, there we are. There we are on the screen. Oh, you didn't see us? Am I on? Am I on a delay? Oh, uh, you're on a tremendous on. delay. We've been on the screen for a long time. Oh hell yeah, that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna that. switch screens though to my drawing screen. Even better, my drawing screen. And Are you gonna we... share? Yeah, you're sharing it with me. Here's so some I can warm up see it. drawings you can Ooh, look at. Look at these friends. Get rid of that thing. Oh my gosh, Zoom finally offering me the option to not automatically enter full screen mode when someone shares the screen. No way, no way. Wow, incredible. Look at these shapes. Yeah, I was doing some warm-ups. Yeah, um, dude. Let's talk about character design. Get rid of them. So when I was thinking about doing this, originally I was thinking I was going to make like a presentation mm -hmm. and I was like, you know, here's the order of things that I do yeah. right? Uh, when designing a character. But then when I was thinking about it, I was like, that's a little disingenuous because there's not a set order to the process. Oh, um, okay. The process usually goes that I get 
one thing that inspires me and it could be like almost any element of of the thing mm -hmm. and i get one thing that inspires me and then from there i jump off and i start fleshing out other things and other things uh building from like this central point sure like sometimes the thing that inspires me is i think about like an outfit that I'm like, mm -hmm. I want to do something with that outfit. And then, you know, it goes from there to like, oh, well, who would be wearing this outfit? What would they do? What kind of world would they be in that, that they'd be wearing this outfit and doing what they do? Yeah. Um, and then expanding outwards from there. Sometimes it's like I'm thinking about like a world and I'm like, what kind of person would be in this world? And then you kind of go from there. Yeah. So I, there are I think lots of different avenues you can take to get yeah. to the same place. And it's, uh, I feel like that's like the fun part of the, of the process is like discovering it, uh, again, organically, right? No pesticides, no pesticides and like following no the path herbicides. that your, your mind takes. Yeah. I think that's, that's beautiful. So that's how we're going to start here today. And I, I think we're going to like use chat. We're gonna uh, we're going to design chat. a character with chat. Hell yeah. So a I, I want to know like, organic yeah. process. like what, what sort of things are, are on your mind chat? Like when you're thinking about a starting element and it could be anything like a genre, it could be like a, like a type of personality. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It could be, you know, like, like when you're thinking like, what kind of character do I want to see? What's the first thing that's coming to your mind? Yeah. And, uh, we will vamp here for a minute because these streams are always on a more significant delay for some reason than yeah. Twitch streams are. So yeah, take your time. We'll wait for Think some responses. It. We'll wait for some responses. And I will, in the meantime, draw a rectangle. That's a good rectangle. And with big ears. Okay. I see cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk's always fun. Sometimes I see cool outfits on Instagram, lots of capes and swishy coats, big hair. Crickets. Are you saying that you want a character inspired by crickets or that you're not saying anything in the chat and so it's crickets? What about this character? That's a, that's a monkey. That's just a happy monkey. Sometimes a character is a happy monkey. Yeah. Let's see. Zappy said, I tend to start with facial expressions, general attitude. I dig around the Vogue archive until I see a fashion because every Vogue ever is free online. That's just, that's just good info. Yeah, that's I, I was going to say. That's good intel. Hell yeah. Pull neat color palettes from Pinterest. Fluid wavy. Just a little guy fantasy creatures and D&D &D outfits, big round eyes. This lot is of, all lot very of different, good. A lot of different avenues we can walk. <laughs> I've just been thinking about crickets. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> all right, maybe we'll incorporate some sort of cricket element in your honor. Cricket from Big City Greens. That's a good character design. So I'm, I'm getting sort of a vibe of like outfits maybe. Yeah. That we want to yeah, start a lot, with. A lot of, uh, a lot of outfit talk happening. So let me see if I'm just going to look up over here off screen, Vogue, an off screen outfit, a hidden outfit. I'm going to go into Pinterest and I'm going to type cool outfit. Nice. And I think that's going to get us somewhere to, to start off here. Outfit inspired by Cricket. <laughs> Ooh, I'm seeing some cool outfits already. Ah, oh, dang. I wish I could see the cool outfits. Mm, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to see the I cool outfits. I don't get outfit. to see the outfits. I just get to imagine them in my mind. Uh, well, I saw one that jumped out to me straight away. So I think we'll start with this one. We're going to bring this over. I'm going to switch back to the chat. 
what if cricket the game rather than the bug oh that's tr that's true i know the classic nothing about the game of cricket yeah but they do wear some some cool outfits when they play or at least they they have in the past all right check this out tell me this yeah. outfit doesn't inspire you to do something that's kind of because there is like there's sort of a a baggy pant into into like tighter sock vibe to to a cricket outfit as well i think or maybe i'm thinking of golf <laughs> no i think they do I'm, I'm not doing anything with the sport of cricket i don't know anything about it cricket outfit i'm looking it up yeah that uh, just kind of looks like I guess I guess modern cricket just kind of looks like you're wearing a bunch of pads. But like, what about like an old timey cricket outfit? You so, you do the class. I'm I'm doing my own research yeah, now. You're you're busy over there. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna start like futzing around with this, with this sort of vibe. I was Try to definitely get like thinking a, of golf when I said what I said before. Like a body shape going here. Maybe get like a, what kind of stance do we want? Maybe like a lean. Yeah. They would wear like sweaters. Like a collared shirt and a sweater. What a great outfit to play a sport in. <laughs> That's awesome. This is a cool outfit though. And it has nothing to do with cricket. I think that's... it has. It it doesn't have. Well, it has to do with cricket in that it it has appeared on a stream where we're we've talked about cricket. That is true. So in that regard, in that regard, so I definitely like this idea of like a poncho-y thing. Yeah. So I think we're gonna start from there. It and just go looks for like cozy, a, you like know, a poncho shape. It looks cozy, but cool at the same time. And so then I'm like, Poncho, I hardly know Cho. No, that's not what I'm like. No, that's, that was, <laughs> that was a mistake. That was, that was not correct. That was incorrect. Got, that was a, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm actually like is, <laughs> You know, what's a situation where you're going to be, like, wearing a poncho? Uh-huh. I feel like they go well for, like, someone who's trying to, like, you know, hide their identity a bit, maybe. Oh, because they can pull it up? Maybe we go for, like, an even higher sort of, like, top part. Mm -hmm, mm hmm And say, like, this is a person who wants to hide their identity for reasons. And we're going to think about what those reasons might be. But this is kind of like, you know, what I think about when I'm doing this is like, let's just start asking questions based on the design. Like, yeah. Like what sort of questions does it bring up? Like as you go and you can sort of organically, I got to stop saying organically, man. In, in answering those questions, it leads you to make decisions. What if it's got a big zipper? You don't need to stop saying organically. What What if it has a big zipper? That's just something we can always consider. <laughs> a piece of advice stuck, number one. <laughs> yeah, if you're ever stuck in your design process, you can always ask the question, what if big zipper? What if it had a big zipper? Yeah. I've heard of the big dipper, but a big zipper? And then I really like these, like the round sunglasses yeah. vibe, sort of a, you know, not to summon Karina, but a Vash the Stampede sort of feeling that, to it. Vash the Stampede or um, Gojo when he's not wearing his, like, his eye mask. Totally. Only cool people wear sunglasses like this. Yeah. They're indicative camera, of power. My camera is doing this cool thing where it flickers. I'm just going to see if I can. 
Nathan's doing doing some camera tricks. Oh, he knocked over his entire. Yeah. <laughs> this is like that that joke ad video we did where Nathan kept <laughs> bumping into things and knocking them over. <laughs> Stupid. Well, I don't know if I fixed anything. My camera might just be flickery. That might just be a thing it does. I think that's fine. Uh, then I'm thinking it might, like it might be a zoom. It might be a zoom thing because we mine I was using flickers my camera, on zoom. I was using my camera on a non-zoom call the other day, and it, it wasn't doing that. So it might just be zoom is a little. Being a little bit of a a jerk face. So what I'm thinking about now, a little haunted. Ooh, yeah, is, is following this sort of like hidden identity vibe. Yeah. So maybe like the hair is also like covering up a lot of features. It's it's uh it's being used for concealment. Yeah. So that's how you're. That's how you're styling it. There's a there's a function that it's serving. As part and of this also theme. leads us to, of course, the 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 best thing we can do, which is later on have him push his hair up and take his glasses off, right? Uh, making some sort of big reveal, which we love. We love that. Maybe he's got like another arm coming out this way. Going to be holding something for sure. This I promise you. So yeah, we're just you know, this is this is really cool because it, it uh, not much time has passed since we just like took this initial. We just took the the one element, the poncho, and just started sort of free associating. And yeah, yeah. From there, because I think like the free association is um one of like the major facets of doing stuff like this that mm -hmm. that I think a lot of people don't fully um utilize because you you can end up getting sort of in a position in your mind where you're like is it good is it bad is mm -hmm. this stupid am i stupid is it correct is it correct and then next thing you know about this the right way yeah you're like paralyzed yeah and you're it's it keeps you from like doing things that could have been that could have been really cool because what you you're, you're playing in the space yeah, we're we're creating a space and playing in the space. Yeah. And we're we're still, you know, we're being we're being playful but still methodical, you know? We're we're asking questions. We're at we're we're asking questions, answering those questions, and then seeing where those answers take us. Yeah, asking more questions. Yeah. There's no limit to the amount of questions I can ask. Yeah. Here's you one. See, yeah. What's what's your problem, man? That's a uh, good question to ask. Mine, my problem. Just in general. What's any of y'all's problem? What's any of y'all's problem? Do y'all got a problem? <laughs> what's the problem? My right, problem is it smells so much like bacon. Julia's problem is it smells so much like bacon. Are you ever gonna stop cooking bacon? Are you friends with your neighbors? Can you ask them for some of the bacon? We're not friends with our neighbors and we can't ask them for the bacon. Also, we're not eating bacon right now. Oh, yeah. For hours, it smells like bacon. Well, can you uh, get some bacon for me? Because I'm eating bacon. Yeah, well, it'll be really good by the time we get it to you, I think. Maybe it's veggie bacon. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> So. Um, just looking at chat here, I'm seeing perhaps they're a bounty hunter, someone asking what kind of job do they have or hobbies. That's kind of yeah. what I want to get to next is like their job. And I feel like they're wearing an outfit that kind of reminds me of like a, like a firefighter in a way. It's kind of, kind of looks like a firefighter coat. Oh yeah. Um, so like maybe they go into places that, you know, normal people can't go into. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so like dangerous places that normal people can't go to, to get or do something. 
that's sort of where I'm at with it right now. Like, yeah, there's something in these places. There's areas that are forbidden or that people shouldn't go to because they're dangerous. And and this guy goes into them. He's one of the he's one of the people that goes into them. Mm hmm. I dig that. That's always a, a conceit that I really like. And I like that you're you're not like fully committing to anything with that. You're like you're still you're still leaving it open. You're like you're narrowing the scope, but you aren't you, you're not painting yourself into a corner with anything too specific yet. Yeah, I mean that's kind of that's kind of how resuming, I like to do it. We're zooming in, but we're not we're not over committing to anything because we're still we're still ideating. I am committing to the fact that I need to figure out where his body goes. Yeah. So yeah, that I know. Some underdrawing. Yeah, it can I be it can be tempting. His, uh... I know I do this where you draw like a real a real shapey baggy piece of clothing and you're like I don't need to figure out the anatomy. But you still should. <laughs> for, it helps for, for sure. It definitely helps. So yeah. So maybe we got like, like a all steppy of, all leg. Of this, of course, like builds off of your other, your other art skills and fundamentals that you should also be, be practicing and working on if you're if you're looking to improve. Uh, and this I want to point out too. Um, what I'm doing with these hands here is still, I'm still like free forming it in my mind. Yeah. I looked at this hand just now, and I was like, this hand is holding something. So I'm like, so maybe this hand is doing like a like something like this like maybe it's got like maybe he has like a power oh yeah that, that this hand will be like you know channeling or charging or or yeah, something dude. like just or something just like it's i don't have like full ideas it's just like i'm thinking like one hand's grabbing one hand's open let's go with that just because i like how that looks from like an aesthetic standpoint for sure i'm also liking the idea of maybe some big gloves yeah, the, again, another sort of a swoopy shape going in the other direction that, that mirrors the, or echoes the shape of the the original swoop that we started with. Now I kind of want to see also, like, what about coattails? <laughs> Poncho with coattails. <laughs> there are not enough ponchos that have a big zipper on the front and coattails on the back. I think. I mean, I think so too, obviously. And this is also, it's because it's like, you know, you're just trying it. A nice thing that, what I really like about, about the digital, the digital drawing experience is you really are free to, to just throw something on the page. And if you don't like it, it's super easy to just get rid of it and try something else yeah and it's not only like super easy to get rid of it and try something else it's um helpful to like see it to see the thing you thought of right because even then if it wasn't the correct thing in your mind in the end it can often lead you to the the correct thing yeah you can like leave it there and then just like you don't even have to fully get rid of it you could make a you could copy the the layer leave that there be like okay that's one option and then and then try something else be using the same base drawing just be like okay we've got coattails version we've got yeah you can have like a bunch of different version. outfits yeah kind of want to juice his booty a little bit please um that's okay where, let's take a look at chat some of his powers See a nuclear waste management. He's opening a door to the underground and telling us to let him do the talking. I love that chemical. A secret world urban fantasy type thing. He looks like he knows of dangers that I don't. Yeah. Yeah, this is all great. That's that's totally the vibe I'm getting to. Because there's the, in the stance you've given him is is very confident. Yeah, he's he's like been a part of this world yeah. and you're just now joining it. Um a cool part of doing this too is is like 
we're establishing now, sometimes you can make a character and be like, oh, now I realize this is like the mentor type character. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, maybe not the main character. Maybe this is the character who's established in this world. And then the main character we can then go on to make after this and be like, let's figure out who the protagonist is. Who's like new to this yeah. um, situation. Who's just learned. Maybe it is a situation where, um, you know, you, once you've learned about this other side of, uh, the world, the secret side, you basically have to become like a part of it. Right. Cause it, it sees you. Um, and so it, you know, maybe our protagonist is like a reluctant sort of, um, addition, yeah. but let's continue here. Um, cause I think, do we want like, I'm trying to decide if we want like baggy pants sort of that are tucked into like a high boot. Let's see it. Let's see how it looks. I need to shrink That's everything. Just like you said, you have an idea. You can just sort of, you can just try it. You don't have to commit to it. You just, you put it on the page, see how it feels. Yeah, let's, let's get the rest of the body in here in terms of underdrawing. Yeah. Um, and this is totally a me thing, but it, it really works well for me personally is that I often like this jump between doing underdrawing and character work. Like I very mm -hmm. rarely do a complete underdrawing before I do any of the character work because right. oftentimes the character work informs to me then what the underdrawing, like what the posture should be. So I'll like start in a place yeah, and then do a little bit. And when I realize I need structure, I'll add structure uh, like I've done here. Yeah. Definitely. So you, you don't have to like do it all in like a specific order uh, right, all the yeah. time. Right. Like we're start, we started with, with just like a piece of clothing, but like we've done, I mean, on Drawfee, we've done like all sorts of jumping off points, you know, like we've done, we've done like pose or line of action as a jumping off point too. And in those cases, like, yeah, you do, you do start with the underdrawing and let that sort of guide you but that's not the that's not the only way to do it as as we see here you can start with any number of of things as long as you're still remembering to to build as yeah. you go you're not ignoring any of the fundamentals you're just doing it in in different orders yeah don't neglect your fundamentals but you can find like fun ways to implement them um, as you're going. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. And I like the little, the little like knee guard you've given him. So he can, you know, knee something in the face. Yeah, or something can hit him in the knee. Perhaps he like slides on them. He could probably do a slide. And then, you know, big chunky boots for different types of terrain, heavy duty. Yeah. I also love the very um, anime nature of having a protective poncho like this that clearly is not, in a real world scenario, would not be doing its job because there's way too much open space. Yeah. underneath it and around it it's good for um for overhead attacks at the shoulders yeah if anything comes up from underneath you though well that's what the boots are for you're you're toasted um okay maybe i kind of like the idea of like imagine imagine this okay all right let this dive deep mm-hmm this um, society of people are referred to as janitors. Okay. And they're kind of janitor coded. Like their weapons are like, you know, look like brooms and mops and shit. Okay. 
And it's because they have to go to this like alternate underbelly of society and like clean it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like there's um, stuff maybe growing, like creatures are growing out of like a mold or something or out of a, an interdimensional mold, kind of like <laughs> in stranger things, you know? Yeah. Like if a portal opens to the upside down and it's all like moldy and creatures are coming out of it. Yeah. It's like that sort of scenario. And so once you're like aware of it, you get inducted into the janitors and then you, you get sent trained and sent in. Um, and maybe there's like different, uh, threat levels of, of portals that they identify. Hell yeah, and dude. so they send, you know, someone like this to like a high threat level sort of thing. So maybe he has like a, like a broom sort of thing. We can see how we feel about that. Let's see how we feel about a broom sort of thing. Uh, probably well, should Classic finish question. The is the, is he holding it with the, with the bristles forward or back? I think what if bristles back and then the front has sort of like a spear head. Okay. Yeah, dude. So it's like the, the implements are partially for literally cleaning mm -hmm. the, the mold and then but partially also... for battling what comes out of the mold. Yeah, dude. And it would be called something like an ether broom or some shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. So it kind of like magically cleans it, you know, like sci-fi magic y technological magic. Yeah, the bristles are made of some infused fibers. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's got like a, um, you know, like some just like tech attached to it. Some magitech. Some just mysterious, like, what is this? I don't know, but it's on it. And it's it, <laughs> it's on it and it like fires up you know yeah it, it revs, revs up. up yeah this broom <laughs> revs up yeah and then maybe over here there's like a um i'm thinking about like that um did you ever see alita battle angel i did yeah that like um like the rocket propelled hammer that christoph waltz's character uses yeah where it's like, it's so impractical, but it's so cool. Yeah, I love stuff like that. It's like, I don't understand how that would work, how that wouldn't just go flying out of your hands. How but that but who it, cares? But who cares? It's a, it's a hammer with a rocket booster. Yeah, I love, I love a, a heavy implement that's got, that's got tech in it. That makes it that makes it do in a way that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, me too. They got a they got a good one of those in um, Lies of P. It's like a a big heavy sort of um, hammer axe type of thing, but it's just got an engine on it. Yeah, and you you yeah, rev yeah. it up and sort of it's called the booster glaive. Sure is. And so it it lights up with its big engine and boosts you forward to hit things. That's awesome. And it's like that's that's fun. That's fun. That's fun, okay? That excites my imagination. I think too like the the collar it's definitely like projecting a oh an energy shield, something like this so you don't breathe it. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's like, why even have the... If you're going into Fungus Town. But it doesn't look that cool to have this. So it's, you know, that'll be explained in episode one. Yeah. Be like, the collar projects an energy field that purifies the air we breathe. While still looking cool. That's what the... Um, that's what the zipper is for. When, it, when, the, when the jacket is fully... Or when the poncho is fully zipped that completes the the magical circuitry inside yes that allows the uh the projector shield to to form to formulate that means this i'm 
this should be should be made of energy also yeah dude this is so fun this is like so well timed because like we just did that um we just posted that that video with the with the magic weapons where we we started with with weapon descriptions and used those as our right as yeah our i actually haven't for, watched it yet but for character design well you know we uh and we, we each sort of went about it different ways, which I think is is illustrative of how there's no there's no one right way to to do character design. And, and what I really like about our our show is how like collaborative it is. How it's like the ideas we end up with are, are ones that like we wouldn't necessarily have been able to come up with on our own. Yeah, totally. I think that nice. is a, a lot of fun. That's something you can also do in your own work if you have a friend who's also an artist or even one who just likes to be creative. Mm -hmm. You can like talk things back and forth with stuff like this and, and come up with things you maybe wouldn't have otherwise. Yeah. And but yeah, and even even if it's like you're 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 doing this on your own, just like the the conversational aspect of it, like you can you can have a conversation with yourself, you know, like that's sort of what we're doing when we're 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 adding a design element and then asking the question of like, okay, what does this mean? What is what is implied by this? You know, you're you're conversing. Yeah, you for can, sure. You can put yourself in the in the mindset of of two people having a conversation about about what you're doing. That's a pretty good canvas flip, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. Let's all let's all take a minute and appreciate. That's a you you, you take that. That's a blessing. I feel like this arm could be a little that was smaller. Brave. Live live on stream, no editing, canvas flip, and it it turned out that good. Maybe like that. You've been you've been practicing the fun the fundies, the fundamentees. I've uh, I've not been practicing lately. But you had been. I did. I did. I went through a period point, of practicing a lot, and then it's in there. Sometimes I have to go through a period of not practicing at all to remember to refine like the the fun and freedom of drawing. Yeah, dude. And then I go through another period of working hard on the fundamentals until I start getting sick of drawing again. Yep. <laughs> and then I have to stop for a while until I like it again. That's the way it goes. Um, okay. I like this guy. I feel like this is where normally I would like stop and be like, and move on to like, uh, you know, inking and detailing and stuff like that. Yeah. Which I, I don't know how much of that we're going to do here. Maybe we should, I don't know if we just talk about like colors or, or we can also continue to like flesh out and design more characters. Yeah. What, uh, what would people, what would people like to see? <laughs> Zappy. <laughs> or we can continue to flesh out this character and draw some like other, you know, like oh, yeah. close ups put and put them in other poses and, yeah, yeah do, maybe do we'll do full, some of that. Do a little bit of character sheet. A full stuff. rotation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm into that. I'm probably not gonna rotate him because. But I do want to do like some like get a little more of his personality. We don't really have that yet. Yeah, that's true. This is just like an, an introductory shot. Like you see him walking by, and you're like, what's his deal? Yeah, we know that like you know, in the situ in this situation of like going into combat, he's like very confident and composed. But you know, what's he like otherwise? I kind of, and I mean, here's the thing about this. What I'm going to say is that I'm, I'm biased towards making a character with sleepy eyes. Yeah. And so sleepy eyes are in right now. I'd like to, to attempt to do some sleepy eyed. Let's get rid of the face for now. I love, uh, I love an eyes. Hour. 
type. I know, me too. Um, got some uh, question in in chat. Cryptid ish asks, "What if you're trying to design to design something more specific? Are you are you are you are you referring to like um like if you've been commissioned to do like a like like there's like a specific brief." Yeah, like or if character. you're like if you're like setting out with a goal in mind, like <laughs> bless you, bless Julia. you, Julia. I'm sorry, thank you. Like, how do you like follow up on a on a goal you have? That kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can talk about that a little bit as well. As soon as I'm not. Um, like rather than than being just like I want to design a character, let's just start with like an outfit. Yeah, it's like I have this story that needs that needs a, a specific character or um, or something. Like yeah, I have, think you have a specific archetype in mind. Like it's 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 fleshed out more but you still need to to like visualize it i think for me in that situation i usually go pretty heavy on like reference mode mm -hmm. where i'm like looking for things i'm like because all characters are like made of archetypes obviously um, you're not going to design something that's never been designed before. And you don't want to design something that's never been designed before. Because part of the appeal of characters is playing around with those like existing tropes. Mm -hmm. um, so you give people something they recognize. And then from there, maybe you can, you know, do like trope inversion or go a different direction if you want to. But it's good to start from a recognizable place so people see it and go, and it makes their brain go tingly. Yeah, um, like, so I'll uh, look at other characters that fulfill the like visual archetype that I'm looking for. Gotcha. Um, and then, then try to see like, what's a twist on this I could do. Yeah, how do I, how do I, I set the expectation, but then also subvert the expectation? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like so we, we can look at some of that too. After I draw this face, I'll, we'll go find like an existing character and then like see what kind of twist we can do on it. Yeah. Because I think like that's very the, fun. Uh, like if we, you know, for, for like the, um, everybody gets the same character description. Like it's a very, it's a very like detailed description usually, but we still always end up with, with pretty distinct looking characters. Yeah. And I think that's because we're all, we're all trying to find our own unique twist on it. And also with like a detailed description, there, there are, there's just, it's too much. There's always going to be too much to like, focus the same amount on every element usually there are like bits of the description that will like be more inspiring or like creatively interesting or like to one of us. us yeah yeah we all have different things we tend to lean towards yeah i think I feel like I want maybe this fly away to fly more away. Like for me, basically anytime, anytime a description like references an animal, like that's, that's the element that I'm going to be the most interested in. Totally. And like, and that, that ain't me. Gonna be, is going to be secondary to that. I usually think of like a, like a personality or like a facial expression mm -hmm. first and then kind of design outward from there. But it really depends on the, on the thing. 
on what it is. Uh, And that's like, that's like part of, you know, finding your voice and your style as an artist, like recognizing what, what interests you about the character design process and like recognizing that and then either, you know, leaning into that or again, trying to like push yourself outside of your comfort zone depending on what your goals are for a specific design. And mostly it's just, it's just fun. Yeah. I think that's like sort of the, the main takeaway of of this class is that like, what's really important is to like, remember to be playful and, not not get too not to box yourself in you know yeah and like, sometimes it won't be fun yeah give and yourself I think it's, room <laughs> yeah give yourself room to like fuck it up a little you know if you if your first design isn't isn't working for you that's okay like it's still it's still useful to get the idea out of your head and down on on canvas or, or paper or whatever your your medium of choice is just so that you can it's different to to look at something that you've drawn versus visualizing it in your head yeah it really is and it's it sometimes doesn't feel like it would be you're like oh well i can just think about what it would look like and I can't like think of what the right answer is. Yeah. And like, that's your problem is that you got to move from the thoughts to the paper. Yeah. Um, you don't, and, and you there. shouldn't, you shouldn't expect it to be like exactly right. The first time you try it. And no. And that'll, that'll free you up to, to take some big swings and maybe you'll like them and maybe you'll surprise yourself with how much you like them, or maybe you'll just be like, no, that one doesn't work for me. Oh, his face a little lopsided. At least you know. (laughs) My boy. It's still valuable to do it. Uh, Where do you start with choosing a color palette for characters? That's another question. Yeah, we'll we'll get into that. We'll do that after this. Okay. Let me fix. Let me fix. Transform. Skew. It's just rink, 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 rink. Just get that a little more like Let's that. Get it a little more like that, yeah. Then maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta fix these oh, eyes. I like this guy. I guess technically I don't have to be doing anything. This is just just for funsies. Yeah. But I want to like show like this is how I would actually. Yeah, I think you know, I go think that's about what it. I will to see like the And I think it's process. important to show like the where the areas where like you you look at it, you flip it and you're like this time the flip was not so kind. It was still pretty good. I think you're being hard on yourself, but yeah, there was there was room to make adjustments. And then that's okay. It's and not can, just going to be perfect. I can get in with the, the, the smaller brush here. So I work with a pretty large brush typically when I'm sketching to keep me from being too uh, precious with the details. Yeah, for sure. So that I can get the important stuff on there first. Then maybe we just make a slight movement here. You know, some days the second eye, some days the second eye is coming for you. Yeah. You can always just um, copy, paste, flip. (laughs) If you're uh, you're struggling. I might do it. That's allowed. I'm not going to tell anyone. 
No one's gonna no one's gonna be mad at you for for doing that. Get a little more facial structure there. Maybe do a flip back. That's looking better. I enjoy this fellow. I enjoy him too. I think. I think what I what I like most about character design is when you kind of get a sense, just from like very few images, of like what a character's deal is. Yeah. I want to have like very prominent eye bags underneath the eyes. So it's like you see this character and you see like two sides of him. Yeah. Uh, the confident, collected, in action look. And then sort of this like stressed out insomniac um personal life look got to merge these layers and that's like a fun a fun juxtaposition that you you're able to do when you again we started with this very very simple concept of just like he's he's concealing parts of himself he's concealing his identity yeah that was like all his, we had at the start with his fashion choices. And so that means that, you know, the way that he looks when he's being fully concealed, collar up, glasses fully covering the eyes, and then and then you you're able to do this reveal later where it's like, okay, but what's he what's he actually got going on under there? Yeah, he's he's unshaven, he's tired. He's clearly overworked and uh, maybe, you know, he's sort of like a Gojo in Jujutsu Kaisen. He's like one of the best at what he does. And so he's a little over relied upon, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but he feels like it's his responsibility to protect everyone, keep everyone safe. Indeed. And I think he would be the type that's maybe not um, socially the, the best very like blunt type of character yeah uh who says just you know whatever's on his mind because all he's really thinking about is completing the mission he's mission oriented he's mission oriented he's not social oriented um okay do we want to do like some color palette stuff yeah i think so Let's do that. Uh, I'm not the best with color palettes, but normally I'll have like, I'll start with like one color and then you can kind of base your other colors off of that one. Um, and, and, and sort of let that be like your guiding light. And so for this guy, I was kind of thinking right out the gate of the poncho being like, like purple. Poncho. So I'm going to go with just some like sort of mid-tone um, colors here to start out and then we can like go darker and lighter from there. Um, so and this is just going to be like a sort of test color so it's not going to be it's not going to be beautiful. I actually want to use a different brush. Yeah that'll work. So I'm just going to like block in so we can do some like tests basically. Uh, without having to spend a bunch of time. Because I was thinking of sort of like cyberpunk and also like fungus. And so I like the idea of like a purple and green. Joker. Like a neon green. So the purple will be like a little darker and then like the, the accents on the poncho will be a green. That's sort of like the, the, the tech. Maybe like the neon green is like the tech color in this universe. Like that's like shows that it's like powered, you know? Yeah. It's activated. Can maybe even go around there with it. It also kind of gives it that like reflective look of like a firefighter's fireman's jacket. A fireman's jacket. Uh, 
yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah. And then the pants, I think, should be like a darker color, maybe. What goes with like a purple and green? Do I want to have any browns in here? This is just sort of um, how I exper experiment with this stuff. Like, do we want to go brown gloves? And if you have any ideas, Nathan, feel free to. I honestly, like a darker yeah, green. I just, uh, this is a part that always stresses me out the most. I literally, I have like a render I need to do when we're done streaming that I'm just like, I don't know what I'm going to do for the colors. I usually like, yeah. I'll just like throw down some colors and then drop like a multiply layer over all of them that sort of gets them to be more cohesive, which I know is not necessarily the the way no i get that i mean i do the same sort of thing but yeah like Swear you can also guy. just again a nice thing with with digital coloring is you 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 never really have to commit to the colors you you put in like you can you can throw down some colors and then you can you can do all sorts of adjustments to the hue and saturation and brightness and for sure and all that stuff and you can do that like to the entire flats layer or you can just like be like you know now that i'm seeing this all maybe i maybe i need to like desaturate the purple so it so it matches or maybe you know you you, you put down that gray for the pants and then you just go to the the hue saturation and just and just slide it around until it it looks good yeah Ooh, I dig this though. My thoughts right now are sort of like a, a monochromatic under set of clothes. Yeah. With then like these highlights of the, like the tech that they use. Yeah, man. So maybe there could even be like a, like this sort of thing. Ooh, yeah. Could be cool. And I like the idea of like in like sort of a foggy, misty environment, like this stuff, like With glowing the, through the, just like visually the spores. Yeah. The glowing through spores. like the spores. And maybe that's just, how like it's for like people that they're rescuing maybe to be able to see. Yeah. You see the neon green, you run towards that. Yeah, it's kind of fun maybe the spores all have like more of a an orangish sort of fiery yeah yeah aesthetic to it to like set off the purple yeah that's like because this this green is very like inorganic yeah and intentionally so yeah um, love, love a nice color language you know in a show where it's like i know i know what these mean they indicate things what about if the world what if his hair has some of that orange mm -hmm. maybe there's a thing where like people who work in this profession they're like hair turns like an orangey color oh from the yeah. spores from the spores the spores maybe maybe darker even if the energy barrier protects them there's still a little bit of residual impact that happens and then it's also like, you know, later on, they're going to develop spore powers. Right. And then that's going to be a whole thing. Like, can we still trust them? 
they're working with the spores. Maybe like something like this. It's kind of cool. Yeah. But yeah, this is the kind of thing that I would like definitely push and pull and work on. Like maybe the purple should be darker, maybe a little more desaturated. And then I would just you know, keep futzing basically yeah. eternally. I might just be able to do it this way actually. Yeah. Chris Scalzo says I like using coolers, Palaton or color hunt to get color theme inspiration. And yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a good, a good thing. If, if, if picking colors by yourself is something that stresses you out, you can always look to resources like that, that, show you some some fun color combos and see what what matches the vibe you're going for i definitely use uh stuff like that um all the time if i don't have like a good idea or any idea of where to start with colors i'll just like scroll yeah. through those and be like one of these one of these is gonna have it at least as like a starting point we have the hair orange. We can bring that to the gloves. Ooh. Hair color is gloves color. Yeah, I don't know. This is like an option. Yeah. And then you can also put in um, like adjustment layers. Correction layer in Clip Studio. And we can like mess around like with this. Like this is kind of cool. You can sort of go around and see if anything. Obviously I would like change the skin tone back to being skin tone. But there's like some cool ideas you can find here that you wouldn't have thought of. Yeah. Like I kind of like... Pushing it this way a little bit. And then you can, you know, turn it on and off. Yeah. Um, I'm going to... I gotta move you. You're in my way, Nathan. Bye. There I go. Let's do this. So I've just, I've made a new layer with these where I merged the colors so that I have them combined. And then I can go in and like get us back to a skin tone we want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's really jokering now. You jokering hard or hardly jokering? <laughs> And then we can like look, like we can look back at this, we can look at this, we can put them side by side. Yeah. See like what, you know, what we're vibing with. So these are just kind of ways you can go about it. Because let's yeah. see, that that pushed the hair into like the green territory, Yeah, that which I also the like. Whole, the whole idea about it being orange, but that's okay. It well, you know, this, we're, we're brainstorming. Yeah, exactly. We're bar barn storming. Storm your barn. Storm your barn. Burn, burn. Um, burn. Okay. So let's see. What's next on the agenda here? Just looking at wanna... chat, I'm seeing more characters maybe. Yeah. I want to try, try an, another one. There's also the idea of designing like a specific type of character. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, maybe let's do both in one. We'll design another character in this universe that is like a specific type that we'll come up with. Love that. Um, so I would love, I have to pee really bad. So okay. I would love in chat while I'm doing that, if you could hit me with some like character archetypes that you'd like to see, like that type of character in this 
the janitor's universe. Hell yeah. Um, and I will be I will be right back. Jacob's going to pee. Jacob's going to pee. It's just you and me chat. What is up? How's everyone today? Hope you're having a Hope you're having a good one. A bubbly klutzy gal. That's a that's a character for sure. Yeah, thanks again everybody for um for the the support on Patreon. We do appreciate it a lot. And uh I always I always hope that these these draw class streams are uh are meaningful and and valuable to you and are are a good reward because we really we really do appreciate the support. Ooh, a pet for this character. That's cool. And yeah, do do give some uh some character archetypes for for Jacob to choose from as well. Don't mean to derail too much by asking how you're doing. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we lost we lost the thread on the crickets pretty pretty fast. Newbie who got powers they can't control, grizzled mentor, young optimistic sidekick, dreamy sidekick who is slow on the uptake. These are all great. I'm excited to see which one Jacob picks. Since it is Jacob's class. Oh, here he comes. Wow, quick pee. Fastest draw in the West, they call him. I'm back. We got some character archetypes. Character archetypes, let's see. A pet? A grizzled I'm mentor? Crickets. A newbie who got <laughs> powers they can't control? Crickets. Maybe crickets are like the enemies. Ooh, cricket spores. They're like referred to as crickets. Because they emit a sound mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not unlike cricket song when they emerge yeah. from the spores from the spores the crickets and the spores the crickets and the spores the crickets and the spores hi ho the dairy over the crickets and the spores that's the theme song okay the so show. i'm i'm liking i mean young optimistic sidekick is always good I also really like dreamy sidekick who is slow on the uptake. And I also like grizzled mentor. Uh, what do you think, Nathan? Is your class dude? Yeah. You're that you're here to help me, bro. Okay. 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 Um, well, I feel like, I feel like young optimistic sidekick is, is fun just because they they won't have the sleepy eyes whereas dreamy sidekick might we'll just have, have the sleepy sleep, eyes yeah the sleepy eyes again i, I kind of want to kind of want to do a, a different yeah for sure all right let's do that this can be you know protagonist coon yeah because i feel like i feel like that's also it, it's a tricky one because it's like they're Every show's got a got a, a protagonist, you know. It's it's tricky to to make an original seeming one since they're all it's such a well defined archetype. For sure, it can, it can be it can be daunting. I'm like, just gonna how do I make put him over here so I can see his design elements. How do I make my protagonist or my my sidekick not? so generic uh why don't we do. get some examples in here yeah as inspiration i feel like 
you know, Deku comes to mind. Yeah. Straight away. I'm just going to get some, uh, some reference. Just put him over here. Plucky little lad. Who else is good as like a optimistic protagonist type? Um, Gone Freaks. Gone, yeah. Very similar to Deku in many ways. Yeah, they green coated. The green, the green look. There's uh yeah, obviously course, Naruto. Luffy. Did you say Luffy? I said Luffy. It's pronounced Luffy. It sounded like you said Goofy. Goofy. Goofy, the best protagonist. The best anime protagonist. Goofy. I don't want Shippuden Naruto. I want original Naruto. Give me the the normal Naruto. Oh, that's a, that's a good Naruto pick right there. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'll probably go, like, go with female protagonist, though. Okay. But I want to I base the female protagonist on these uh, stereotypically male shonen mm -hmm. protagonists. I think mm -hmm. that'll be a fun combination. Yeah, for sure. Goofy does make me think of Sora. Sora! Sora! Cardcaptor Sakura. Um, and I had seen in chat, um, Zandrew Bird said, uh, someone who's affected by the spores. Uh -huh. And I like that as an angle, too. That maybe this um, protagonist was, like, trapped in the spores for an unprecedentedly long amount of time. Uh, before being rescued by our, our other guy here. And that's why, yeah, they can't. And so she has like, uh, she was able to defend herself in the spores with like little protection for like a full week or something. Um, yeah. And that's why her life is, is altered now because she can't, it's not safe for her to go back to regular society. So she's she's become like a ward of the janitors. Yeah, she can't be allowed back because she's sort of infected in a sense. I, I guess you could say the the janitors have become have become her custodians. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Simon Grenlagen. Simon. Another. Simon. Simon. Okay, let's just let's just start going here. These are all good examples, chat. We'll go with like a rounder sort of face. And I don't have a strong idea out the gate, so I'm just gonna start like posing. Um yeah. and I'm I'm trying to be like very, you know. For the sake of this class, very like not honest, because I wouldn't lie about my process, but like uh, communicative about my thought process. Yeah. So that you know like why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. Like sometimes you just start in a place because you don't really have an idea for yeah. uh, what exactly you're going to do. So totally. So may as well start from here. Yeah. So we'll go with like maybe like one of these like shonen jumping poses like yeah. The I'm going original, into battle. The original shonen jump. Hey, Nathan. Someone did a jump in a shonen and they were like, ooh, we should call <laughs> there it. There we that. go. That's something. 
That's something, isn't it? There's something to that, isn't there? Maybe like a fist. And then we can decide what like her weapon will be. Yeah. And I want her to have some sort of like, there's like a physical marker of her time spent in the spores. So we, we can consider what that might be. Let's consider it. I love to consider. And then um, something else I'd like to point out too mm -hmm. is that I do this all the time where I'll draw a circle for the head and then draw the body and the body's like almost completely unrelated to the head circle that I drew. And then I just change it completely. Yeah. But I have to draw the circle in the order circle... to draw the body wrong in order to then draw the head right. And can I say that's a real good circle? It, it that is a good circle, isn't it's just it? Just like a that's just like a really good one. But you sometimes know, sometimes it's just reminding yourself that you can draw a circle is enough to get you going <laughs> to get you through the day. <laughs> yeah. But I I don't think I ever draw like the correct circle to begin no. with. That's okay. The correct circle is the circle that got you to draw the rest of the drawing. So true. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to, I'm going to do like, we'll get the, we'll start with like the cloak. Cause we know that's going to be an element. Yeah. That's the uniform. And I want to have like sort of a bouncier look to it. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess it would be bouncing up over here too, huh? I guess it would. I suppose it would, wouldn't it? I suppose it would if you did. Hey, hey, ho. Hey, ho, ha, ho, he, ho, ha. Ha, ha. <laughs> I don't know. Really, really make whatever sounds help you. <laughs> with the with the creative process not a, not enough artists talk about the silly noises you make when you draw no that's true though i i do make a lot of silly noises like either in my mind or out loud if i'm like okay, talking so the, through the process the, uh... yeah and so the 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 coattails are their standard issue for the uniform that's not just like a fashion thing that um, that other guy was doing with his. No, they're standard issue. Great. They're, they're there for a important and necessary reason. I'm sure yeah. they wouldn't just put them there for no reason. No, that'd be ridiculous. Yeah. Um, Okay. So what's, how should we like style her outfit differently is something I want to consider. Mm -hmm. Um, so she doesn't like have the exact same right. outfit as, um, our, our guy up there who we have not named. Well, right off the, right off the gate, it looks like the collar is, is smaller. Yeah. Maybe I was going to go smaller, she's less, smaller collar, smaller she's collar less concerned with, with hiding who she is. Yeah, she's I think she's more, a much more like open book. Yeah, what you hard on the sleeve get. type of character. Exactly. Uh, we'll have some sort of something there. Kind of looks like she's like swinging in. Yeah. Cause this looks like oh maybe she like dual wields something that'd be pretty sick. She's got the dustpan and the little <laughs> and the little broom. Sweepy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm not getting to the face yet because I don't I don't quite know exactly what I want to do with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking about these coattails. What if it's this thing where <laughs> stupid, but what if it's this thing where like if they get in, like it's monitoring their vitals, and if it, it like falls below a certain level, or if like the spore content gets too high that like the energy can't repel it anymore. 
the coattails just like extend and wrap around you and like sort of turn you into like a ball and just sort of blast you back to safety <laughs> oh yeah they like cocoon you and yeah they're like um or maybe they're like along those same lines they're like um invisibly like the tips of the coattails are invisibly attached to like a like a rip cord basically and it just pulls you out yeah and it just like pulls from the the tails are like magnetically linked <laughs> yanks your ass out of there um how do we feel about about gone shorts I kind of like a like a short like a short yeah and then she's got like whatever sort of energy barrier goes over the head for her legs well maybe like a like a techno legging of some kind oh okay legging legging is non-energy based material based yeah, i think i want this to be like a real chunky a chunky short a chunky short, perhaps. And yeah, this is all the like, you know, experimental phase as we talk about. Yeah. yeah so it might not even it, end up being a chunky short. We're putting it down to see how it looks. Um, you should never, if you have an idea, just draw it. Yeah, you and can't you can be decide... wrong. You can decide whether or not you like it later. But there's nothing wrong with just drawing it. So she has to have the gloves, of course. Of course. And then I've established that this is sort of like a like a black compression top sort of thing. Yeah underneath probably monitors the vitals probably like fits tightly over the body and so it can detect all of your all of your human fluctuations yeah you're always doing yeah all your all your your numbers all your body numbers I'm trying to think of like what may be her like specialty is. Like what type of protagonist, you know? Right. Cuz like Deku's like a like a analytical type. He's got like all the knowledge yeah. of like everything mixed with a determined type. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and then Naruto's like all determination no knowledge zero, zero thinking zero thinking um and then gone is like all innocence no uh like worldly knowledge like all naivety yeah coupled with like strength so i don't know something to think about I'm gonna go ahead and shade this just so it's it's called killing time while I'm thinking. Yeah, dude. Well, okay. So like we're saying that her, her thing was, she was able to survive for a long time in the spores. Yeah. Um, I think that would make you pretty determined. Yeah. I think like determined and also like, like hardy, like, like resilient. Yeah. 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 Like there's something, there's something about her. That so like, she, she takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Adaptable, maybe. Yeah. Like, whereas like the reason why most people don't survive in the spores is because their bodies are, are fighting the spores whereas she was able to like adapt to them and so they didn't 
they didn't register her as like something to destroy, but rather as something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just thinking maybe like some patchwork elements of her, of her clothes. Uh huh. Just to show that maybe she's like, you know, been living, living scrappy. Putting things together. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're like, like tied with like a rope. Like these are not her pants, right? <laughs> these are not her pants. Like she got them from like a bigger person. She scavenged. A, a larger, a larger person's pants. She scavenged she them and is, has adapted them to her own Now usage. they're her pants. Yeah. yeah. They weren't her pants, but they're now her pants. That's beautiful. Yeah, I kind of like that angle that she's like, she's got like the, the survivalist smarts where she knows how to use the things at her disposal to turn like bad situations into good ones, or at least to get through them. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Should probably draw the face at some point. What are we thinking with regards to the face? Get this circle out of here. <laughs> that circle ain't right. It was such a good circle though. I mean, I do want her to have like a rounder going to put another circle that I'm going to disregard eventually. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, for sure, like more childlike proportions. Mm hmm. Yeah. She's a youth. She's a youth. And then I think she would have like, Maybe like a, like a straight across sort of, um, like bang indicating that she just like cuts it straight across when it gets too long. Yeah. Maybe we can do something with that. I bet we could do something with that. She got like a mushroom cut. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like this ear should go down, maybe. We're going to feel it out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we want like some sort of like this? I always like the little. Yeah. The flyaways. Make you look like a damn plant. <laughs> it's also just like... Th those never look cool in real life. No. So there needs to be a place where someone can have those. As someone with like a big ass cow like back here, that like if my hair gets too short, it just goes like... Bleh. And like not in a cool way. It's nice to have have some representation in media where it's like, no, no, it looks cool. It looks cool and fake. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I fully agree. Okay, we're getting somewhere with this. I've extended the motif of cutting straight across to her sideburns and the back of her hair as well. Yeah, dude. Because I think she probably just has like a scissor. And mm -hmm. as soon as it's annoying, she just grabs it and goes snip. And then it's like, good. Done. Yeah. Wish that were me. Why can't it be you, Nathan? I lack the confidence. <laughs> yeah, the Katonic said probably no stylists in Spore Zone. 
Yeah, yeah. no stylist in Spore Zone that we know of. It's the title of the series. <laughs> There's no stylist in Spore Zone. Okay, let's let's try to make a face. Let's try to make a face. I think we'll go with yeah, something like this. Oh. oh. <laughs> Like a confident yell. He's going, wow! Woohoo! Woohoo! Uh -huh. Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Mm That looks pretty good. I like that she's like looking back. She's going like, ah, I'm doing it right. <laughs> is this, is this, do I, I look cool? It looks like she's this going, yeah, yeah. Except it's not. Yeah, go something like that. Yeah. Some no, I'm in the muttering phase where I just start yeah, muttering. Yeah. yeah, that's that that that's how you know you're in it. Once you just start muttering and futzing, that's like okay, we're onto something. We're we're getting there. We're achieving. We're doing. Oh yeah, it kind of is a hime cut, isn't it, Zappy? Hime. Yeah, I'm liking this. Give it a flip. Oh, another good flip. I feel like I got no issues with this flip. A good flip. What a what a it's blessing. It's a good flip. Okay, let's consider shoes. Mhm. Mm Maybe like a, maybe like a lower boot mm -hmm. sort of thing. Do I like that? I don't know. Do you? I don't know. I think I want her to be wearing like the black compression stuff is like down her legs as well, but some of it is like ripped, uh -huh. like a ripped jean. Yeah. And then maybe, let's see. What's the right shoe? I don't could know what be, the right shoe is. Could be barefoot. Shoe fits. Julia yelled, if the shoe fits, which nice. Does that make sense? was not helpful, but find a shoe I that thought... fits. I am going to find a shoe that fits. Don't worry. What if, what if barefoot? You can't be barefoot in the spores. What if that's <laughs> again, what if that's, that's like where the spores have started to change her? What if she got a case of the spore foot? Like, I don't want her to have spore foot. And it means she can like move particularly effectively through the spores. <laughs> Zandrew Bert said she can. <laughs> sure she can, but is that what I want? What if shoes that specifically don't fit? Just too too big. I like too big that. These shoes. Some Soras. Some Sora big shoes. Or like some, um, what if she had like some real kicks? Like Deku's, Deku's boots. Yeah. When he discovers kicking. What's like, what's the name of like a cool chunky shoe? Chunky sneakers. I'm afraid to say any brand name. 
because they <laughs> might not be cool anymore or they might have never been cool. I really put you in a situation, huh? If I if I know the name of a brand, it probably isn't cool. It's just sort of a general rule of thumb. These aren't the <laughs> kinds I want. What do I want? Like basketball shoes? Is that what I'm looking for? You want basketball shoes? You want skater shoes? She was a skater shoe. Said I wanted basketball shoe. shoes. I found what I'm looking for. Okay, great. I'm looking Happy. for something... Let's give them something to talk about. Get get out of here, Ad. Let me screen cap these shoes and then shut up. Something like like this. Like a sick ass chunky basketball sneaker. But ones that are not fresh. Like if her whole outfit has been like harvested from like, I mean, presumably people who have died in the spore zone. Are you still with me, Nathan? Yeah. I like those shoes. And I like that reasoning. Um, the question is, can I, can I draw these? You could probably simplify them. You could probably use them as a basis to design a shoe. A basist? One of, one, yeah, basist. One of the things you're really good at is taking something that's like kind of shapey and really accentuating certain shapes to make something cool looking so i bet you could i bet you could look at those shapes and be like here are the parts of the shapes i want to push and then and then do and then do it and then just do it that's sort of my as someone who hates drawing shoes and will always draw the most basic ass shoes i can get away with i support you in your fashion endeavor here so you're thinking i should just i should just do it i think you could probably do it i think you just you latch on to some of the shapes I in the design i'm i'm freaking trying man okay i'm freaking just, trying bro just sort of just sort of do that thing you do where you make it look good <laughs> I, that's what I want to do. It's hard right now. It's, it's hard. It's hard to just do a good job drawing for two full hours. I mean, I think it's been going pretty well so far. Yeah, man, I've been impressed. I've just been sitting here. I've like, I've like been getting tired on your behalf, just watching how much drawing, like intentional thinky drawing you're doing. Like all of my draw streams, I'm always just like, turn your brain off. And just <laughs> let's all just hang and you're you're actually thinking you're actually doing some real thinking over here i'm having a thinkus this is um this is actually impossible <laughs> jacob why'd you pick impossible shoes to draw <laughs> I, I didn't realize this is actually not you actually can't do this you actually can't do this no I can do it or I can at least get an approximation I think you could do it that is fine I think you could at least get an approximation that is fine that's that's gotta be true right it's gotta be shoe that's gotta be shoe Right, kind of go like this. It's actually impossible. <laughs> then they got like, yeah, like some stuff. Man, hats yeah. off to sneaker designers. You know Dude, what I'm saying? Whoever, I I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they come up with it. If it if it was me, I would have gotten uh, the first one that people liked. I'd have been like, okay, this is all shoes from now on. But they just keep coming out with new ones every year, every day.
Oh man, you know what I'm realizing? This shoe is just, that's just not the right angle for that foot to be at. No, it's not. I didn't want to <laughs> say anything. <laughs> that's just not right. It's just not the sort of the way you drew it's the not... leg. <laughs> Let's just move this over here. You want to do the, you're going to want to do the underdrawing of the foot first before you commit to detailing it. Good lord. <laughs> I need a freaking foot draw class right about now. That's a good foot shape. Got it. Okay. Is this... <laughs> Is this right? <laughs> the last 20 minutes of the character design draw class is just Jacob losing his mind trying to draw shoes. Trying to draw two feet at the correct angle. Trying to draw shoes that are not... They're not quite Nikes. These are Pumas. Pumas! Yeah, apply the transformation. What do you think I am? They kind of go like, like this. Like, what's the sh what's the shape? What's the shape of water? Um, I think it was like a sexy fish man. Um, that Ed Sheeran I, song. I think I'm going to give up. I'm in love with the shape of water. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm gonna... in love with you, fish man. I think I'm going to give oh, up. Wow, 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 wow. You're just singing Ed Sheeran. I'm in love, but I'm, I changed the lyrics a little bit to be like a joke about the shape of water. Yeah. Instead of, instead of the shape of you. You did do that. So instead of saying I'm in love with your body, what I did was it, I changed it from I'm in love with your body to I'm in love with a fish man. Yeah, you did that. So like, I don't know, Weird Al, if you're looking for like a a lyricist to like help you out. <laughs> Was that weird enough for you? Was that hey? Wow. Jacob, you said you were gonna give up, but then you kept going. That's beautiful. <laughs> Did I mean it though? Did I mean that I was going to give up? Let's just get I, some I think shapes. that's I think that's instructive. Say I'm going to get if if a part of your drawing is hard, say I'm going to give up but do keep drawing. Because then you're you're free to be like, well, I had already given up at that point, so So it didn't so it didn't count. None but of it mattered. But then if it, it turns out that you like it, you can be like, oh, cool. This still it's, ain't right. I think it's okay. It's a little bit... <laughs> this still ain't right. Would it be easier... Would it be easier to change the leg? Put this over here. <laughs> would it be easier to change the leg <laughs> shape? <laughs> no, I'm going to give up. <laughs> I mean, that's an important aspect of, of character design and in all art is really just give yourself a break. If it gets too hard. I'm going to give up and I'm just going to leave it here and be like, look, you see the shoes, you see the legs. Just use your imagination. The, the animators will figure it out. Yeah, I can't be expected to do everything. We're just going to do this. Yeah. So that I can move on with my life. I don't have to keep living this nightmare <laughs> that I've created for myself. I don't know why you decided to do like fashion shoes at an angle. It would be cool <laughs> if I could do cool it. If you could do it, it would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't right now. It's not right now. <laughs> Maybe another time I could, but not right now. <laughs> Let's talk about weapons okay what are you what are you doing let's talk about weapons get weapons. these freaking shoes out of here i don't ever want to see those again 
Let's make this bigger. Let's see, we got, well, 12 minutes left. Yeah. What do we think her weapons should be? Dust busters. Dusters busters. Little busters by the pillows. Um I mean she could she could just have powers also. She powers. could be a, she could just be like a an energy based protag. Toilet plungers, garden tools. Chat's got chat's coming with some some options. And again, this is this is another example of like you've got this base drawing. You can just draw her holding a bunch of different stuff and see what what feels right. That's just like sort of a, a sword. Yeah, I'm just sort of doing like a shape. Yeah. And then seeing what how that vibes. Yeah. Oversized box cutter. This is just a big cleaver. Yeah, dude. I don't, I don't feel that. like that. Um, <laughs> I don't feel like that fits with the uh, aesthetic. No, but it is cool looking. But try telling me it's not cool. You can't tell me that. Sometimes janitors have to use a big cleaver. Yeah. Right. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> We're running out of steam, bud. <laughs> well, this is the other the other side of it, right? Yeah. That it, it's like tiring to use your brain this aggressively. Yeah. And you just can't do it for that long. Zappy said she has blunt weapon vibes to me. Give her a blunt weapon. Blunt weapon. Blunt. Blunt weapon. Weapon. Cake pop. Cake pop. Two halves of a broken mop. That's kind of fun. That is fun. I do like that. So maybe it's like, um, it's like stabby because it's just a broken, broken piece of wood. <laughs> splinter. <laughs> Give those spores a splinter. And then this end is just like a mop. Yeah. Maybe this is like when she's like found. This is what she's using. This is what she's wielding. Yeah. And then she, they give her like some sort of, you know, weapon, real weapon version of this type of combat. Yeah. Like, um, one of them, one of them segmented stabs that you can take apart and put together, but it's a mop. Oh yeah. That's fun. Like one of them three. Three segmented okay. things. Yeah. All right, I want to make make him a little bigger again. I made his uh, design very wide, so he's difficult to fit. But I honestly really dig these designs. These are like fun. They look like they would be part of something. Yeah. Uh, we got about eight minutes left. If anyone has any like questions about these like processes, I hope you were kind of able to see like the, the freeform mind place you want to get into.
Yeah. When you're like approaching something like this, it's like a very forgiving mental place where you're allowing yourself to just like futz around and mess up. Um, but one that opens you up to sort of whatever inspiration strikes your way. I just uh, opened up the uh, draw class chat uh, Patreon Discord channel. And uh, people people have some fun some fun stuff they've been drawn along with with us. Oh, are we gonna see some some fan art at some point. I mean, they're they're in there. They're it's in there already. They exist already. Yeah, people have been drawn along. They've got their own takes on uh on these sort of jumping off points. So yeah, thanks thanks to everybody who's been drawn along. Looking at looking in the draw class chat uh, on Discord is one of my favorite things to do because y'all are y'all are inspiring to me. It's it's cool to see a community of people who are trying to improve improve their craft. Yeah, for and sure. It's it's nice to know that we're we're helping to facilitate that. So thanks thanks for doing that. Thanks for participating. Yeah, I appreciate all y'all being here. And um yeah, like the stuff in there right now is seems very related to what we were were drawing during this class, but if you if you do any sort of character design after this class that was at all inspired by some of the the processes or way way of uh, thinking about it that we discussed today and you want to you want to share it in there please do yeah i would love to see like your own characters and you know some some like explanations of like your own what you kind of were thinking about when you made them yeah definitely i think that would be really cool to see and if you're watching this VOD later, that's just another another reason why it's good to support at this tier. You get to watch live and you get to be part of that Discord channel and uh, and share your stuff. And There's like-minded. See the stuff that other people are working on in there. Like-minded individuals in there. Just something to consider. Think about it. Why don't you? Yeah. I was trying to crank out another like expression of hers real quick, but my my art is running out of steam. I tell you what, and I think that's beautiful. I think that that's that's very honest. But that's okay. We got a lot done today. That's okay, that's part of it. Where's our other? Um... That's a good example of trying to put something down and recognizing it's not working for you, and nothing bad happened. That's always something I try to remind myself. Because I get stuck in my head a lot with my process, and it takes me a lot of revving up to get there. When really, you just put something down. Yeah, it doesn't the matter. Wor the worst thing that happens is you don't like it, and then you just get rid of it. There are plenty of times when I start on a drawing that I have to do, and I like get like 10 minutes in, and I'm like, not today. Not today. Like, today's just not the day. I can't do it today. Yeah, that's, a, that's fine. And he, and here's the thing, you already did all these today, so today was the day. Today was it the just, day, thankfully. It just stopped. It just stopped being the day. Well, I used up all my juice. You, you used up your, your reserves. Um, I'm going to stop sharing the screen and go back to camera mode. Okay. And say thanks, everyone, again for, for subscribing at this tier and yeah. for all your support. It really means a lot to us, and it helps us keep doing the channel. Yeah. And I want to see your characters. Everyone should be designing characters. Do a all character. The time. Make a character. Make a character for me that I can see and go, ooh. Hee <laughs> That's what I want. Yeah, that's what I want too. Uh, and I think that's going to be it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging with us. Yep. Thanks for the support. And if you're watching this later, thanks for watching. We'll, uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.